just saw beautiful filet mignon footage. This is the most tender cut of meat in the cow. The reason it's tender is because it does not do a lot of work. It is located in the back part of the cow where there's almost nothing else to do but get tender, nice and flavorful. And that's why this is one of the most popular steaks of all times. But it's also expensive. And most say that it lacks flavor. And today we're gonna take a very inexpensive cut of meat and see if Suvi can make it as tender as a filet mignon. So let's do it. This is an eye round. It's the complete opposite of a tenderloin. It does a lot of work and by no means is it any tender. But it makes up for it in flavor. Cuts that do more work intends to be more flavorful. And in my opinion, that's the case of the eye round. The first thing I like to do is to trim it. And for that, I like to remove all the outer fat, silver skin and connective tissue. Since it's a lean cut, I like to leave a quarter inch of fat on top. That fat will render down nicely and it's enjoyable to eat. The next step is to cut it in three different pieces. I want to test out how long it will take to make it as tender as a filet mignon. I'm going to be cooking every single one of them in the exact same temperature. The only difference will be time. Remember, sous vide works with temperature and time. Whatever temperature you choose, it will never change. And the longer you leave, the more tender it will be. And from the looks of these fibers, it definitely needs some time. This is not tender, friends. I kept the seasoning simple with salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As you know, this is a big cut of meat, so it is important to season all sides. Now all there's left to do is vacuum pack them and they are ready to be cooked. One will be cooked for 24 hours, the next one for 48, and the very last one for 72 hours. To really compare it side by side, I'm also cooking a Chateaubriand, which is the center cut of the tenderloin. It is the most tender beef there is. I kept the seasoning the same with salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Put it in the bag, then it was ready to be cooked sous vide. I'm gonna be cooking the Chateaubriand at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. The eye rounds, you already know the time. I'm gonna be cooking all of them in the same container at the same temperature but different times. We got all of our proteins ready. It's been cooked at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for different times. You saw it, but enough talking. Let's take it out. Let's do it. I have to tell you guys, they all smell fantastic, all right? However, when I did touch this one here, it was kind of like jello. These over here, all of them have a completely different texture. But you know, once you're chewing it, it's different as well. But like always, I gotta pet it dry so that I can get a wonderful sear. To keep everything identical, I am going to be using the flamethrower. But I know they don't look that good right now. But watch this. All right, everybody, I have my beautiful eye round ready. Now it's time for other people to give you guys their review before me and Mama come in. Check it out. It, it literally just melted in my mouth. It was just falling apart. Yeah, that's really good, I like that. Super soft. Okay. I really like that, actually, what the hell? Very tender. Good taste, good tenderness. Definitely sous vide. It was really good, very tender. I'll say it's almost like a filet mignon. Wonderful. <laughs> if there was a scale, it went down a little bit. Good taste, not as tender as the first one. This one's definitely chewier. It's a smooth tenderness. I still like this one, it's not bad. It's just definitely more chewier than the last one. I'd say the first one was a solid 10. Like, if there was ever a solid 10 on anything, it would be that steak. And then that one was eh, like a seven, seven and a half. That one's also really soft. Gradually going down on the tenderness. Okay, this one gave me a little bit of trouble to, to chew. I think the one before this was a little bit softer. Out of all three, the most tender for so far is the first one I tried. It's still real soft. So whatever you did, Still works. I'm not ready for the fourth one. Because <laughs> I see the trend is declining. Mm. 
What is this, Google? <laughs> Google it tastes like <laughs> This is not good. That one was hard to chew on. That's that's actually gross. All right, I'm good. It's kind of like mushy and kind of grainy. It's super like mushy. It tastes like like really dry ground beef. It, it felt like I was just kind of just chewing on mush. It was not pleasant to eat. <laughs> Come on, Google, you invite me to this video? So the first one, I'll give it a four, but only because the second one, I'm gonna give it a five. And then the third one, I would say is like a three. And then the fourth one, it was disgusting. The first one, I give it a five. The second one, I'll give it a three and a half, almost a four. The third one, way towards the, like a two, a solid two. And the last one was negative 55,000. <laughs> it was horrible. So if I had to rate all of them on a scale from zero to five, the first one is definitely a five. The second one I had, it's a four. The third one is a three. And then the last one is dog food. Don't eat that. That is horrible. Throw it away. It's bad. It's bad. All right, so the first one I tried, on a scale from one to five, I'll give it a five. Second one, I'll give it, I'll give it a four. The third one, I'm not gonna say three, I'll give it like a two. All right, Google, I'm sorry for this one, but I think the last one, from one to five, I'm gonna give it. <laughs> you guys saw already a little bit of feedback, but we're gonna find out our feedback now. You ready for it? That's wonderful, it's tender. That is so tender, so delicious. Man. Wow. Hmm? <laughs> Where's the rest of it? I want to continue eating. It is gone. <laughs> this is our benchmark. Not the same. No. What do you think? It's tender, but it's not nearly as tender as the other one. Not even close. I don't want to say not even close because it is extremely tender. At the same time, there is still some texture when you bite into it. Mm, the first one, you bite it and it just, you bite and it tears apart right away. Yeah. This one, you have to bite it and then bite it again and then it kind of tears. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I am pleasantly surprised. Oh. That is extremely close to tenderloin. Yeah. That's what the first one was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was so soft. It was so soft. Oh. The flavor is different as well. Let's be yeah, honest, no. all right? It is different, the flavor. But at the it same time- It doesn't have much of a flavor. That's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, the texture, it is very, very close to the tenderloin. Somebody served this on a restaurant, you're not gonna... Especially if they cut it in pieces, you're mm -hmm. not gonna be able to tell. No, you're not gonna be able to tell. The flavor is different though. There's not a much, lot of flavor. Right. But if they serve this like wrapped in bacon, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Either. I don't think so. Hmm. Mm. I don't know about this one. This one doesn't mm. feel like a steak or... Mm. Hmm. Hold on one second, everybody. Hold on one second. All right, that was the tenderest one. I think it's... But to a fault. I think it's a mush. Yeah. That one it's is like, mushy. It has no flavor whatsoever. The flavor is a little bit off, too. Very dry and like it's grainy. Yeah, like grainy. Perfect description. Like That one is absolutely horrible. Too long. It's the softest one. <laughs> okay. In your opinion, which one was the closest? First, second, or third? The one that got the closest was the second one. Definitely, everybody. The second one is definitely the winner, and it is as ten. I don't want to say as tender, but very, very close. It's very, very close. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. If you want to see more experiments like this, where we test how we can push sous vide to become a meat as tender as possible, especially in an inexpensive cut, 
Let us know in the comments below. We'll make it happen. What gun do you guys want to see us try next? Let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.